Hey everybody, it's Marcia, also known as Teach Me to Dance Again. And I left my banana conditioner in my hair overnight. Last night, we used rice water to rinse my hair. And I can tell you right now that if I would leave my hair out, it would be completely shrunken. Um, my hair feels, it has the slip. But the rice water definitely is not something I would use on a daily. My hair is less soft. So what I'm going to do, which is something I don't usually do, is put my conditioner in, my mane and tail conditioner in right now. And then I'm going to rinse all of it out. So the mane and tail should help my hair not be dry when I rinse out my natural, all natural, homemade kitchen conditioner. And I do like, um, how my hair is more, um, it's not just clean, but it's more, um, at a loss for words, but it has more slip. I can't think of another word for it than what it would normally have with the way I was um, taking care of it prior to this journey that I was inspired to take by so many people sharing their journey. So that's why I'm sharing mine. Maybe we'll keep it going. I'm just going to keep going around to each Bantu knot, which is something I learned from the tutorials I was watching. Now having these small sections is helping me to really get in to all the hairs with the conditioner um, and make sure, you know, all the way down to the tippy tippy ends. Is fully conditioned let's get the edges my edges look so pretty this morning I might try um, I have some other conditioner in my closet I threw out a lot of things a lot of products because I was just so disgusted with the condition of my hair and so I swore off all those products and I just started using um, Dr. Bonner's that's it just Dr. Bonner's and my body lotion my homemade oil so this is just the main tail and I'm, I'm tempted because I have another I did have some leftover fructis but I threw out every product that could have possibly contributed to the condition of my hair when I had um, the bald patches I just got rid of them and that makes sense right don't keep doing something if you see you're having a problem just don't do it and don't risk that it could be those products it's not worth it so those products are in the trash um, I was using different types of fortifying shampoo, not shampoo, conditioners such as um, 
what was in it protein I was using and I was leaving it in and I was leaving a mask in that had um, apple cider vinegar in it that was not I mean initially my hair was great but then I started to notice I was having a setback and you know we learn we live and learn but I can only use what can be left in so if it can't be left in it's not for me now since I put my own treatment in here and I have to wash it out um, the conditioner I have left over in my closet I can use it and I'm going to use it because it's supposed to defrizz the hair my hair had it wasn't a major frizz problem so just the natural honey products that I made in the kitchen and all that um, definitely gave my hair definition it was not uh, ideal to just do a wash and go because I, I <clears throat> had more shrinkage than I wanted to have number one and number two um, there were just frizzy areas and wasn't like completely like big frizz which is something that can happen with my hair especially if you wash it and leave it down and you don't you don't put it in some kind of a stretching style if my hair doesn't dry stretched forget it and you're gonna have to wet it all over again and start from scratch that's the only way to get it to do anything is to wet it all right if it dries stretched then we're good it will be much less shrunken it won't be straight but it'll be much less shrunken I can relatively and temporarily it won't be straight but it'll be you know stretched for more length and straighter if um I used to do this when I was younger like teenage younger I would put my hair in really <clears throat> really large rollers but you have to roll it perfectly like the hair has to be perfect perfect perfectly smooth over those humongous rollers and it ha my hair has to be all the way dry before I take them out. If I take those rollers out, my hair is not dry, then I might as well start from the beginning. Okay, we're ready to wash this out. And I'm going to then put in, it's a Fructis Brazilian formula for um, the conditioner. And then I'm going to rinse that out and then we'll see what my hair looks like. Okay, so my hair is thoroughly washed with Dr. Bonner's. I have two buns and I'm going to apply the rice water um, to each side separately so that I can comb through it. But this is the baseline. This is what my hair looks like before the rice water just after washing with only Dr. Bonner's, nothing else. No conditioner, no oil, no nothing. And as you can see, my hair still has like a nice shine to it. So that's interesting. So I'll be back right after the rice water. Okay, I'm in the process of applying my own conditioner, which is much needed because um, I felt that my hair was definitely in need of some moisturizing after the rice water. Um, it looks good, but in terms of the feel, I felt, especially the ends, um, as my hair dried, I just felt like my hair would dry out.
So um, I'm going to have this leave-in homemade concoction. And I realized something. This is just um, my leftover formula that I made the other day with a banana added and then a little bit more of the other ingredients. And then I forgot to add more honey. So I've already applied this banana mixture without the extra honey. And um, they talk about slip. So my hair has slip. It's definitely slippery. All the way down to the tippy, tippy, tippy of the ends. And the curl, though, the wave and curl pattern is definitely ultra defined. So now I'm going to try it with the honey in there. Okay, so I washed out the, well, I didn't wash it out. I rinsed out the, um, it was banana from overnight conditioner. I put mane and tail in it this morning and then rinsed that out. And then I added the Fructis Brazilian formula. And you can see that my hair is not frizzy at all from that Fructis. It took all the frizz away and that's what it promises to do. But my hair is very coily very <laughs> so I would be a little bit concerned about if I left it to air dry um, I think it might get really puffy I'm not sure I'll have to try it some other day but I'm not gonna try it today um, so I'm going to continue with the other side now and then get into what I'm going to do for my hairstyle today, which is probably going to be a stretching style, especially since um, all this love and attention and extra conditioning has given my hair the confidence to be more coily. My hair is typically not coily, just wavy. So now I've got wavy and coily going on. Okay, so I had to wash it because I was just fearful of leaving any residue. Even though I rinsed all the conditioner out thoroughly, um, I just didn't want to have any film on my hair. So that's where Dr. Bonner's came in and my hair is squeaky clean. So over the next however long period I share my journey with you, whether it's a month, three months, a year, whatever it is, um, to see whatever progress happens with my hair, I think the number one factor is all the attention and thorough management um, that I'm doing, that I wasn't doing before. I never... Um, Thoroughly spend so much time making sure that you know in small parts every hair is conditioned and I think because every hair wasn't being given you know enough attention those were the areas that were having the biggest problems and I have mixed hair so my hair is going to do different things in different parts of my head um, so this is where I'm at with Dr. Bonner's. Now I'm going to get on with my normal. So the plan, I think, is going to be to do this big production no more than once a week, just because it's time consuming. Um, and number two is that I feel like, you know, those treatments, though natural, were pretty strong. So I don't want to stress my hair with over manipulation or an over natural processing um, hair is still being processed um, shed was normal um, I hope to reduce the shed even more and probably not washing and conditioning and washing again is gonna help with that 
my scalp feels clean, my hair is squeaky clean, it's not dry, but it is stripped of, of everything. Getting the banana out of the hair is going to take some time and patience and several I did mines in sections um, to, to really get all the banana out of your hair you're going to need to uh, wash through it and comb through it several times if you have kinky hair or really tangly hair I don't recommend banana I just don't um, you're gonna have a really if you have I have porous hair so my hair just is like a sponge so I was squeezing banana out <laughs> I, I, I washed my not washed I rinsed my hair with the conditioner um, mane and tail first then I put in the fructose conditioner and rinsed it out again then um, I put in the Dr. Bonner's and washed it out. So that's three times. To, for me, to me, that's a lot. Okay, so I'll come back with my finished hairstyle next. Just like that. It's just a side bun. That's it. No big production, no extra fancy, nothing like that. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> and so now I at least have discovered through this process of sharing my hair journey with you that <clears throat> a lot of my struggle with my hair probably came from pockets of time where I didn't take the time to really nourish and nurture my hair. So the hair has to be nurtured. I see an amazing difference in my hair. I was very inconsistent. You know, I would neglect my hair till I see a problem and now I'm like all about hair care. And I think a lot of people experience that. You can post in the comments if you uh, want to share some of your experiences and reflect on some of the things that you could control that were contributing to the condition of your hair, positive or negative. Um, in my case, um, the positives are that I always make a comeback. I always start looking at nutrition. I always start looking at my grooming habits, making sure that I'm being thorough. I think that is a big thing for me, is being thorough and consistently thorough um, and grooming my hair you know, section by section and making sure that all the hair in each hair is being nurtured. I know I wasn't doing it. This hairstyle right here can completely ignore an entire section and I call it the bird's nest section. This bird's nest section and this hairstyle, um, I can just make sure that the edges are good and kind of comb over the top and not really get all the way down to the scalp <clears throat> so the scalp in this area and the hair um, the, the hair condition in that area needs more attention than some of the other places along my edges around the ear <clears throat> I have a different hair texture than I do in the top and the middle section um, and the top and the middle section, you know, right here along the margin of my face was neglected because I mentioned this in one of my other videos. When you do the facial, you do it all around here. And then there's this whole area right here that ends up neglected. But now I get in there and, you know, this has become part of my, my facial. That whole area that was missing here has grown back in strong so you can see that um, one of the more severe parts of where the damage was is lighter meaning thinner than the rest but you can see that the hair has 
come back in. So that is really exciting. So my forehead can look normal instead of, <laughs> I had this block head, like it was back here. All the hair that is in front of my fingers was gone. I was like, this can't happen to me. And it can't happen to you either. So um, this is it. My hair is definitely a lot fuller. I always notice um, when I put it all into one piece instead of, you know, multiple sections going on that um, it, this is definitely thicker than it used to be. A lot thicker. And so I guess I'll just keep on using the sections to make sure that I'm paying attention to um, every strand of hair, thoroughly conditioning, thoroughly combing through it, um, not just breaking over it and leaving like tangles in there. Um, and I'm guilty of that. I would, I would go with good enough. I'm like, this is good enough. It's not completely detangled. I know that it's probably like matted in there, but I'm going to get a style that looks good enough, covers over it and keep it moving. No more of that. I'm going to really um, make sure that I spend the time to groom every section. So I thank everybody that has done a hair journey, that has done a hair tutorial, that has shared anything because I probably came across it. And I appreciate you and I appreciate um, that you made the effort to and took the time because this is time consuming to do these videos and I don't think people realize what goes into a video. Um, but I think that those people who have shared in the greater community of the internet, whether it's YouTube or social media, whatever, that you have made a positive difference for this girl. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, it's late. This is what we're working with. And I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and I bought some tools. So this is going to be a total game changer. This, um, I guess, can be a massager and also sh distribute shampoo. And I bought a few other things that I can share when I use them on camera. But we're not using them right now. So let's save time. I'm going to take down the one bun. I needed to buy some more bobby pins. I'm hard on bobby pins. My hair just tears them right up. <laughs> there is no match for the strength of my waves. They get bent. I kid you not. Look at this. <laughs> That's what my hair did to it. And it still has the paint on it because my hair will take the paint off the bobby pin as well and make them completely weak. So, this is what we're working with. And it doesn't have that crunchy sound like it did when I used the rice water last night, which I'm so happy about. I'm going to now have good parts because I think that's what this prong is for to really get a clean part. It's definitely going to catch every hair. I'm going to zoom through here again. And it's long, so it doesn't drop the hairs like the comb does. I am making the part go in a curve over toward the side. This will definitely get you a clean part. My 
I don't really need much. My hair feels pretty good and moisturized. Um, but I'm still going to go section by section. That way we can maintain the bird's nest. I have a lot of hair. If you can't tell, um, it's fine here but it's still quite a bit which is why it can fluff up so much it's because it's a lot of hair and when it's all compacted and bunched down it seems like I don't have much hair but actually there is a lot of fine hair involved right now okay so now I'm just gonna use oh the comb side can make a good part too So I think my focus is going to just be to comb through it thoroughly. Do you know what happened to me? Some type of beetle or something flew onto my hair when I was just sitting in my car with the windows down and the door open. I was just getting into my car and before I could close the door in it flew I didn't tear that's some of the reason my hair was not looking all that great <laughs> is because I was trying to make sure that bug was not on my hair so that just solidified my fears of wearing my hair out is that a bug will get into the hair can you imagine a bug getting oh my gosh what a nightmare it's going to be lost and caught in there and it's going to be scared and buzzing and fighting and trying to get out and I'm going to be screaming and trying to get him out and usually there's a casualty involved in those situations unfortunately okay so I'm going to braid up the hair huh this is a labor of love. Oh, that gets right down to the scalp. I like it. My comb, it does an okay job, but as you've seen me work with it, um, it takes sometimes a few tries. So what I'm going to do is get all my hair braided and then I'm going to use my medicinal oils, <laughs> my hair medicine. Oh, I forgot to use my massager. Let's try it in the back. Oh, that feels good. So I was afraid to like go around in a circle, but I'm trying it now clockwise and counterclockwise. Now let's see if it's tangled. Nope. So it doesn't tangle the hair. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, this section would qualify as a bird's nest. It was separated and just it wasn't tangled, but it was just all disorganized. You know how bird's nests look? That's the look I, that I think my hair has in certain sections. <laughs> that's why I call it the bird's nest because that's what it looks like to me. Alright, I have uneven sections here. I'm going to see if I can correct it and not take the braid out and do it again. I think living by good enough is some of the reason um, my hair is not as well done as some other people you see. It's like their hair is done to perfection. I think good enough is good enough for me. So this braid had uneven parts that I tried to correct as I kept braiding which means that the braid is not really uniform 
It's good enough. <laughs> okay. I used to think putting your hair in braids for the night was like an old people thing because my, my Nana used to do it. She used to braid up her hair every night. And I used to think, why does she do that? Because she's just going to take it out in the morning. Now I get it. She used to have me do her hair. So I got a lot of practice on family heads. Oh. Her hair didn't get long like mine. It gets long. I didn't understand that though. Nobody has my hair. Ah, that feels good. I wish I had have done this uh, section and I'm not gonna take it out so I can do it either oh that feels great and it's like brushing through the hair at the same time real getting in to massage the scalp Ooh, that felt good my hair is moist and conditioned and not too oily like I complain about, I've said many times in other videos that my hair was quite oily. My hair is not quite oily, and I think some of the reason is because of the rice water. So if your hair is too oily, use rice water. It will take the oil right out of your hair. So I'm going to try the rice water maybe once a week. I definitely don't want to risk my hair getting too dry. Or some weird texture, which is what happened to me the first time I tried rice water. My hair became a weird texture. But that didn't happen this time. My hair is definitely not a weird texture. I don't know about you, but my braids do seem thicker. Then when we first started together, and that was just like a week ago, that's crazy. Let's get in here. Oops, I went over the braid. I didn't mean to go over the braid. It's a beautiful thing about this type of brush is that it Really, it pulled my braid, but it didn't do what a regular brush would have done to that braid. I should do that on the hair when it's completely loose instead of waiting until I braid it. No, I do want to do this braid over. I do want to, but I don't, I don't know. Yes, I will. So I am going to bid you good night. I may flash you um, when I complete all the braids and put the wig cap on. Those wig caps are great. I bought a couple more today. <laughs> that way, I mean, I wash it every time. But it's nice to not have to wait for it to be dry. I have a clean one ready while the other one is drying, which is great. Whew. There. I probably should split this section so it's not so big 
and it would probably reduce any kind of frizz factors but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick with the size of this braid. Just kind of try to make it neater. Ooh. Braiding is exercise. I'll let you see me finish this braid. Boy, okay. So that's done. And I'll be back when it's all done. All done. And I told you in another video, and probably maybe in this one, how my braids just don't stay down. They curl. They twist. See? I don't know. I did not do anything to my braids. All I did was braid it. And by the time I move on to the next one, it starts doing something funky. So this is what it is. And I think I'm going to leave them in tomorrow. So I have my wig cap. I'm going to pull them all back. twist them together into like a mini bun. Let's get that one back here. And then on goes the wig cap. Maybe I should put the wig cap on first. And then it holds them down while I get them all tucked in in the back. So, I'm just twisting and folding them up. There. And that one will just go around. And this wig cap is new, so it's pretty fitted. And I'm done. Woo. That was a lot more than I anticipated when I set out. Basically, what I had to do was clean them up because doing the bigger braids was messy because I have a lot of new growth now. And I have all kind of different length hair going on up there. And so, um, you know, you have the, the bird's nest areas where the shorter hairs are just breaking away and tangling up around other braids and getting in the way of having like a clean braided part but that's it so from start to finish morning to night and uh, we'll be back again maybe tomorrow maybe the next day you keep working on your goals if you have hair goals work on them I'm always working on mine I don't